Good morning, my fellow subscribers, audience, viewers. Welcome back to Right Tool for Right Job by Noor Ali. So as you know, I just completed a whole section uh, on Network Plus CE, which is CompTIA-based certification. It's just my way of sharing important things, valuable things. It's a, for me, it's like a tool. So my next series will be on Security Plus CE, which is also a CompTIA base certification. So before I start that series, before I start that uh, content uh, uploading, I'm gonna share something that I like, I enjoy. It's still a tool. Well, trust me, it's a tool. So here we go. So we all know uh, if you've been in IT, as long as I have been, I've been in IT for 30 years. I'm still in IT. I'm still going strong, still working on projects and contracts, still enjoying it. Uh, may it be remote, may it be hybrid, maybe on site, it really doesn't matter. As long as I keep getting gigs, I will enjoy it and life will go on. So cram sheets are tools. Uh, it's a tool that you can keep with you. Remember, in IT, in... Uh, IT, information technology, information center, if you don't use it, you lose it. It doesn't make a difference if you're doing coding, programming, scripting, CL, I, which is a command line-based interface or GUI. If you don't use it, you lose it. Always keep that in mind, okay? So here, the best way to know what is Security Plus is if you can get your hands across uh, cram sheets, right? This may be all, like I said before, it's not about the version of the exam or certification. No. Uh, as, as we all know, if you've been in industry for a long, long time, like I have, right? Certification industry is a business, right? It's, it's a million dollar business, trust me. Uh, many schools, uh, there are many technical trainers. Everybody has a different style. Everybody learns different ways. Everybody does things differently. The end game, the end game where the idea is to survive is to pay bills, right? To make it in life, right? That's why you take certification. That's why you pass certification to get a entry level job. Then you move up to analyst, to admin, to a developer, to a coder, whatever, whatever your whatever that makes you happy, right? Whatever. So my main concern, my main idea is to introduce to those who don't know, those who don't understand, that cram sheets can be used as a tool. You can keep it in your booklet. You can keep it in your notepad. We, you know, we're going to get old. <laughs> we're all getting old, right? You ain't going to live forever. Nobody does. Nobody will, right? So as our memory banks fade away, uh, things that we use every day, day-to-day -day, a command a script a program if you write it every day you use it every day you'll be a master at it right you'll you'll own a black belt of it right but if you don't use the command if you don't use the product every day of your life you won't know it you won't have a black belt right so the more you use the more you know the more you practice the more you know right if you gather around a bunch of id folks you talk about shop what is what does that mean means you talk about what you do day in and day out that's what it is right so enjoy your life enjoy every moment life is too short but also know that these cram sheets are a great tool right and respect it Respect it, respect it, respect it. I'm going to introduce this again one more time. I know I have covered it before. But this is a great tool. It covers everything about security. Like I said before, it's not the version, how old the exam is, or how old the certification is. It's about the foundation. It's about the foundation. If you have a strong foundation, if you understand it, you will be successful. That's the key and that's the goal and that's the aim in life, right? 
this little tool, this little pamphlet has all the key answers, all the key information you will ever need to getting started. Okay. Uh, this section covers called network security, right? And that we are facing right now. Firewall, proxy server, honeypot, NIDS, monitoring mythologies. Uh, it's out there, right? That's what we support. There you go. Access control identity management. It's a I A M. <laughs> Keep in mind separation of duties, job rotation, least privilege, and implicit deny and physical access control. And that's what we support. If you're in physical security, you'll be doing physical access con control work. There's authentication, cryptography, symmetric encryption, asymmetric encryption. Well, for me, it's a great tool. I don't know about anybody else, but I really respect this little cheat sheet pamphlet. It has all the answer right at your fingertips. Any of you work in compliance, operational security, types of risks are right here, importance of security policies, redundancy and planning concept, that actually happens in DR work if you've done any kind of DR. Uh, threat management and vulnerabilities uh, right over here. All the information that you need to know. Like I said, a great tool. Great tool. All right. So this is the end page. Virus and worms. Concealed threat. Trojans. Rootkit. Logic bomb. Privilege escalations. Profit uh, base. Malware. Spyware. Botnet. Network devices. Vulnerabilities. Application and data and security, application threat, application vulnerabilities. Man, this is out there, right? And here is the code of the pamphlet if you ever want to buy it for yourself and keep it in your collection. So everybody knows what M-I-T-R-E framework is, A-T-T -T and C-K. So there are 10 techniques here. Resource development have seven techniques. Initial access is nine. Execution is 12. This has 19 techniques and uh, privilege escalation is 13 techniques. Defense and evasion is 14. Now this may change. Last time I checked this, this is what I came across. I just wanted to share this with you. I had to review this, study this for a job interview a few years back. Uh, still valid. Like I said, share, learn, teach, and grow. As always, I am grateful to all my viewers, my subscribers. Till I upload my next content, thank you very much. Have a great week. God bless you all. Like I said, if you like it, subscribe it, please. Thank you very much, and have a great day, and have a great week. Till next time, bye.